Alright guys, so this is a second reshoot of the first video I had, and yeah, so I'm not really up, uppity up, because just did the first one wrong, so this is the second take of my review of What If. Let's do it. This. Okay, so what if now what if tells the story of these two best friends, Wallace and Chandri, being played by Daniel Radcliffe and Zoe Kassan, and it basically explains that they realize that they could possibly be each other's true love. Now, I was really looking forward to this movie, mainly because of Daniel Radcliffe, because we all know he's a capable actor. I mean, in the Harry Potter series, he was absolutely phenomenal, and I wanted to see him in kind of a comedic, romantic role. This was perfect, in my opinion. And overall, it didn't look like a bad movie. So, how was it? It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't, like, amazing. So, first, let's start with the pros. For once, the acting is really, really good from everybody. From the female lead and her friends to Daniel Radcliffe and his friends, everybody gives solid performances. Besides Daniel Radcliffe and Zoe Kazan, the main two stars, which give outstanding performances in this movie, and by far the best performances throughout the entire film. And they were really good on screen together. They definitely had really great chemistry with one another, and it was enjoyable to watch these two romances blossom. Although, it was a really, really cliche romance also. But overall, the movie is actually pretty average besides those things. Some of the bad things are that, like, the writing is way too predictable. I mean, I can look past some of the writing in this movie, but for the most part, it is so predictable. It's your typical generic romantic film. So if you're looking for anything, like, unique from a romance movie, don't expect this one to be unique because it's really not... And whenever there's not something happening on screen with the two main leads, it's really not that exciting. The dialogue scenes aren't engaging at all. And you're pretty much just left bored throughout the entire movie when they're not on screen. Because when they're on screen, that definitely brings a lot of greatness to this movie. But overall, I can't say that I hated the movie at all. I really enjoyed the movie. I'm going to give it a B. So... That is my review of What If. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of this mic right here. You obviously can't see it. But let me know down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or what? So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. And until my next video.